So, hello everyone, hello, Sasari right here with more Chrono Cross. We are currently in the Highway Ruins, um, in the Sea of Eden. Oh, that character's all like weirdly colored like that. Okay, there we go. Because we're underneath something. That makes sense. Anyway, we, uh, yesterday we went through, uh, did quite a bit, although it took us a while to get through the Zelda's. Why is that person just, that thing, just skipping along? Hang on, I gotta go get that treasure. I can leave no treasure unturned. Don't worry, I remember how to get it though. It is a bit of a trek though. This fuck guy. We don't need to fight any of the battles anymore. I'm pretty sure I got all of my, uh... Uh, you know what, I'll fight this one just to see. I'm pretty sure we're done with all our red levels for now. But I'll be happy to be wrong. These guys are weak as shit, so... Ah, victory for me. We're gonna use Norris for a bit, I guess. Oh, no, we're still getting HP. Mixter and Steve. And Link's all got one. Hi, Rez. Try and get the stats while we can. As far as I'm concerned. And we win. Resistance, HP and strength, and mix their god. A lot of stats, that's good. It's magic went up, not that it that matters. How did I lost? He's super strong though. Weirdly enough, Lynx has more strength than uh, Mixter does now. Mixter had way more when I got him. But now we don't have to fight anything, because, yeah, we got all of our items. This kind of place kind of reminds me of the Crystal Sea in Final Fantasy XIII. Kinda. Lake Bodom or whatever? Lake Brescia? Sorry. Weirdly enough, I've been getting the urge to play FF13 again. Weirdly enough. It sounds odd, because most people hate FF13, but I don't actually hate FF13, so... I don't know why I ran into that. Yeah, that we got a robot bird. Hey, white robo doggy. Okay. Yeah. That didn't put up too much of a fight. Let's see if it drops anything good. Anyway, yeah, this reminds me of Lake Russia. I think that's the name of the area in FF13. Just a screw. Okay. 
Oh, I always have a use for those, apparently. They did say that this place is the Dead Sea. I can, I can see why it's dead. It's so dead that you can't eat, eat the water. It's just, it's just solid. I can see where the namesake comes from. Oh, turn it up there. Oh, there's not another one of those damn robot things. A resistance belt. Well, that could be interesting. This is the time of status effects last. Well, that's not terrible. And now, Steve has an improved hip percentage. Not by much, but every little bit of tail is something nice. Heart color. It's just probably gonna confuse him. So what that does, what Heart Color does, is it puts a status effect on the people based on their color. Um, so the color of their own, I guess. Which is why Nora's got Sprain. Fuck Sprain. I don't know what Sassari got, I don't know what a black element like status effect is. Like, I don't know what they do. Kung Fu Shoes. What the hell are those? Reminds me of um, the future in Counter Trigger as well, though. So many strange things happening here. The power source is still active. I do have knowledge of electrical, electrical engineering. Can you give me a minute, sir? Let's see. We said those are the same sounds, too. Should be able to display some information, sir. Yep. That's a spawn of Lavos. This is 2300 AD. Lithosphere investigation report. Report number 27. Unknown life sort. Parasitic to the planet. Geological stratum. Result 65 million BC. Code Lavos. Ah! That's cool! 2300 AD! You mean. A rune from the future? Steve, can you tell us more than about this world? Ah, uh, yes. One moment, please. That's so cool. I'm liking that. Somewhere deep beneath the crust, when Lavos awakes, this planet will... What happened, Steve? What happened to the screen? The power supply's gone out. At this rate, we will not be able to gather further information. Damn! We were so close to learning more about Lavos. 
We will not be able to find anything new. Let's proceed. Ah, so this is a rune from 2380. Well, that time frame era. That is so cool. Look, even if the, a game isn't direct, like if it's supposed to be a sequel to the previous game, as long as it at least references the game's uh, previous, like the game it's coming from, I'm pretty happy, and that made me happy. So far there's no real mention of Lavos otherwise. Robodaki! Reminded me of the, uh, the future. I can't touch any hands without fighting it. I can stamina ring. Go with stamina ring. Yeah. Improve stamina recovery rate. Complete. You didn't miss much, which is awesome, but you did miss out, uh, unless you were here a few moments ago, there was a reference to the first game, which I got really um, nerd nerdy nerdgasmy over. But welcome, dudes. Happy American Thanksgiving. Played outside the playground in FF7. Kind of. There's no distance. In battle, they look nothing like that. Oh, he hit a lot of them. Up. Oh, the gremlins. Alright. Looks like they have a lot of HP. Okay, you missed. Good. Toxic Breath, lovely. That's my favorite. I like when they try to poison my characters. It makes me pretty happy. Get wrecked! Like I got flattened! This actually shouldn't work on Mix there, but it might work on Steve. Time for some feral cats! I actually really like this one. Like, this looks nothing like cats or the meteors, but whatever. They all lived, but you know what? They, they took a lot of damage. Assuming he doesn't miss, you can actually probably kill him with this attack. Oh no, he left. Huh. I mean, now he's dead. So there's lots of gremlins in the fight. There are a whole bunch of humors. Well, one might say those gremlins are humorless now. You know what that building in the center kind of looks like? 
remember those eye demon enemies that were in Chrono Trigger? They were in like the um... We found a lot of them in the uh, Underwater uh, Laboratory. I think it looks kind of like those. The Tower of Geddon. This must be the center of the Dead Sea. All this chaos was to spread out from here. The buildings seem to have melted into one giant conglomeration. What's up with this place? What's up with this place indeed? Oh shit. Walking mannequins. What is this, Shinra the headquarters? This looks a lot like the Shinra headquarters, guys. Am I crazy? Anybody else think that? Get your elevators over there. You get your front stairs. A truck that would have been parked there. Zombie mannequins walking around. It's very shinra. For those of you that are in the via stream and may not recognize what I'm what Shinra is, Shinra is the corporation from Final Fantasy VII that is basically a fault for every fucking thing that's wrong in that world. And a truck parked here. Or maybe that was the motorbike. Either way. Pretty sure this is the Shinra headquarters. Hey, another myth roll. This is really awesome. A trashy tiara. Nobody put that or is that on the car A dirty old headdress increasing your defense against magic. You need end defense, that'll increase it. Not that much though, actually. Promising. It is the doorway. Alright, but this no longer looks like Shinra. This looks like something else with a train. It's blocked off. The poor Sap's still waiting for the train. We can't go through the deck, but we can go up here over the train. Probably. Climb our way along. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Figured it out. Got it. Please present your station pass for the Aeros Dome. Aeros Dome! I guess we gotta get the station pass from somewhere. Aerostome, that's an area that we go to in the first game. Oh, they really expanded upon this. This is nothing as I remember it. Nothing at all. Dude, this is an amazing reference, which means, hey, are we gonna run into Robo? That would be fantastic. 
Fantastic. Or as Trife would put it, are we gonna run into bolts? Oh, this is a stage. I guess since Lavos was defeated, the uh, this place is transformed into something else. What's wrong, Marina? Did you sense something? <laughs> Alright, that's not creepy at all. Are you alright? What? You saw a child? I did not see a child anywhere. Nothing will surprise me here. Let's just keep going. I, that child was clearly a ghost. There's a good chance that you saw the child and that it was just a ghost. This looks like a model of the uh, Mako reactors of Midgar. As a kid, I always called Mako Mako. Anybody else do that, or is that just me? I always thought Mako Reactor sounded better than Mako Reactor, but, you know. I'm just a doctor, what do I know? Cure Plus. Gotta appreciate that. Alright, so I can go through that blue door or I can go up here onto the stage. Let me go out to the stage. Ooh, what's this? It's lit up. Prop sword, is that good for anybody? Who uses swords? Um Pierre. Pierre uses swords. Maybe that'll be good for him. It's just a prop sword, so I can't imagine it being that good. But what do I know? Again, I'm just a doctor. Damn it, Jim! My doctor, not a swordsmith! That would be next day. Looks like, uh, Luca. Very childlike Luca, but Luca. We're instead of building yet. What is this doing in here? This place is beyond me. It's kind of like a plane crash. Or like, like, you know, something that could fly. Right, so if we go over here, that could lead to the way out. But if we go over here, that could lead to a treasure chest, I think. Let's go get the treasure. Naturally, we want all the treasure we can get. Seal all. Well, that's gonna be good. Alright, well, I guess we're going up here. Seem to have gotten me anything. Well, I tried. And down we go. You know, this is making me want to play uh, Xenosaga again. These areas kind of remind me of the areas in that. Uh, why aren't you running up this? There we go. That's what we need from you right now. I'm running up that. Dude, it's not even 24 minutes since I started. What is. Time is flying. Huh? Ah, 
Ah, oh, what's going on here? Kosh? Is that you, lad? Oh, I don't believe this. Th these are the Acacia Dragoons who disappeared three years ago. What went on here? Oh, that's a little chrono. That looks like a little chrono. Super cool. There's the General Viper. Looks like they got portal from the first game, I guess. Are you alright? What's wrong? You've been acting strange ever since we entered the building. Is it that child again? There is no turning back now. We must keep going, Arena. Give us the spell effect of the, uh, the uh, animation from the first game. The little ooh. That'd be a cool reference. Ah, oh, it wasn't that, but alright. What is this look like? A sunset? Have the clouds from the Dead Sea get glared up? It appears that the dimension itself is more unstable than anywhere else. It is a time and space within a structure completely different from anywhere else. Luckily, the distortion to leave this place is still here. That is good news for us. You can get you get a full night's sleep in a few seconds. We rest in the Enertron. XP restored. Status abnormalities removed. But you're still hungry. Ah, uh -huh. that's an awesome reference to the original. All oh, that music is uh, still uh, from the first game as well. At least parts of it. Eh? But I like that. They and they kept the you're still hungry part. That's Luca, Marley, and Chrono. Those are like kids. Why? Follow them in a sec though, there's a treasure over here. That looks like the right way to go. Yeah, but... They weren't like... They look like small children, comparatively. They were not small children in the first game. Hellbound. That sounds interesting. What is that? First game, they were they were like teenagers. They definitely weren't adults in the first game, I agree, but I think... Oh, that's Lean's Bell! But they, um... Oh, this is Guardia. Okay. But they weren't that small either. AD 1000, Nadia's Bell. May our prayers for peace ring on for eternity. But Nadia's Bell will never be heard again. Never. We, no, everyone worked to save the planet's future for nothing. It's all because of you. You killed it. You. So many lives were supposed to be saved. This planet was to be healed with love, hope, and dreams. How 
How could you? How could you do such a thing? It's all your fault the world is going to end up like this. It's all your fault, Arena! Mutter! Who are those children? Is Arena's fault the world will end up like this? Don't let it bother you. It's just a distant echo from one's far gone. It's just an illusion. I got a question. What year does Chrono Cross take place in? Welcome to the Tower of Geddon. Time crash, Ground Zero. It's been a while, Arena, but I guess you don't remember who I am. I don't blame you. You were only a little child back then. I'm Miguel, friend of your father. According to the time outside, it's been about 14 years since the night of the storm. What is this place? I don't know, but I don't think we're supposed to know about it. That child. That wounded child. Bring him to me. Hey, Brick Brink! A Brickle Bank? What was that? Who's there? Wait! Wazuki! Where are you going? Hey, you're welcome. Thanks for coming to hang out. There's no way we can set sail again in this storm. We don't have a second to waste, or else Marina will. But I don't care what lies ahead of us. I'm going. There's no way I'll allow my son to die without a fight. I'd appreciate it if you'd waited for me here. Thank you for coming tonight, Miguel. Thank you. No, wait! Wazuki! Yes, I've been here, in this very place, for 14 years. It wasn't like this when I got here, though. An incident occurred 10 years ago that transformed it into the Dead Sea. Don't you know? There's nothing in this world as ruthless or as impartial as death. As living matter ages over time and eventually dies, no matter how mighty or tiny its life force. So being alive means you're creeping closer to death every second. But there's none of that here. No one and nothing ages. Nothing wastes away. This beautiful, boundless, and beautiful world, a uh, quiet, beautiful, boundless, and beautiful world. An ideal world straight out of a fairy tale, isn't it? place and time that belongs to no one. Resnalis. Nelius. It's because this is a future that was eliminated. History is composed of choices and divergences. Each choice you create or you make creates a new world and brings forth a new future. But at the same time, you're eliminating a different future with the choices you didn't make. A future denied of all existence because of a change in the past. A future that was destroyed even before it was born rests here condensed into the Dead Sea. How is that possible? Fate. Our lives are governed by fate. Fate knows all and controls all. No one can run from fate. Even your presence here was predestined long, long ago. Wouldn't you all like to become one with this world? Not really. To be a part of eternity? How about it, Arena? You need no longer struggle alone, nor fear for an uncertain tomorrow. Well, what do you say? Uh, no thanks. I see. This is only one thing left to do then. I take it you're trying to restore the dimensional distortion? If you defeat me and liberate this place, the distortion will return to the way it was. Why? I guess this is it. Just as there are times of peace, there are times of war. You don't have to hold back. Attack me with all your all your soul if you wish to live. Let fate take its course. Of course, she's probably going to fuck me up, but... Alright, what do we got here? Well, that's not great. I have a feeling this guy's gonna wreck me, Brickle. 
But yeah, I don't really fully understand the story yet either. Hopefully I do by the end, but... No. Not like that. That's fine, cast weak blooded on me. I'm still gonna break here. God damn it. This is gonna hurt. A lot. Okay. So we cannot let him get a three rank, uh... Minded. This is gonna hurt. Don't like that. Us, uh, Mike Kelsey. It did. Fuck off. last time. Yeah. Oh, look at that crit. Ow. Why is it your turn again? Nah, you don't get levels in this game. 
Oh wow, I left. Alright. I'll get one growth bubble and that's it, and then a few stats. Have some feral cats. Oh, it's running sixty five. Okay, this is going to hurt. like the strongest blood oh, yeah that that that, that wrecked me. Okay, Steve's gonna die. Shit. Oh well, maybe not. Alright, it might be okay. Okay, I may have I may have preserved my uh my life here. Haven't played this in 15 years? I started playing this a long time ago, but my brothers broke the disc on me, so I never got to finish it. Katero! Thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Ha! I won! First try, I'm the best! I'm getting the sun in my eyes, apparently. Alright, there we go. Yeah, look at that, we got a growth level. Yeah, 13 HP, 1 resistance, not bad. 11 HP, 1 strength. And 12 HP and 1 of a bunch of different stats. And a dreamer's scarf, what's that? That sounds cool. Dude, we're finding out parts uh, of the game that makes me super happy. Any tie into Chrono Trigger makes me happy. Well done! It's the way, Arena. My, you have grown strong. Maybe, just maybe, you and your friends have the power to defeat fate and build a new future for humanity. Thanks, Brickle! The Dead Sea is the true form of this planet's future. That's right. At one stage, our world was on the verge of such inevitable destruction. That was in 1999, when the parasitic life form, alien life form, known as Lavos, awoke after centuries of feeding off this planet. Lavos fell from the heavens a countless number of years ago and buried itself deep beneath the surface to eat and sleep. Slowly but deliberately, Lavos devoured our planet from the inside out, waiting for the time to ripen for its true awakening. Finally, Lavos did awake and manifested its true form on the surface of the planet. That's when our world faced a death from which there was seemed no possibility of escape. Were it not for a teenage boy and his group of adventurer friends, that is. Those young heroes caught a glimpse of the planet's future destruction as it appeared in the year 2300. They realized they could not turn their backs on our planet, even if its death would not be anywhere near their lifetime. Time traveling from epoch to epoch, they battled Lavos for the future of our planet and eventually won. But in saving our planet from the death Lavos is going to bring about, they also changed the course of history. At that very moment, this whole future time uh, axis ceased to exist. Call it cause and effect. It's just a problem of possibilities, after all. In this world, there are no such thing as absolutes or certainties. But the future was supposed to have disappeared is about to be restored here. The future destruction of our planet is going to become a reality in this world once again. The vengeance of the future we killed is about to begin, with Arena serving as the trigger. Perhaps, or perhaps not. Either way, it is all part of the grand game of the gods and goddesses. Why is goddesses in quotation there? People are dragged into playing this game, forced to put their own lives on the line, without even knowing the rules. Without even being allowed to complain, they try to do their best under the conditions placed upon them. The only alternative is to give up and leave the playing field in a forfeit. 
Perhaps three years ago, members of the Acacia Dragoons from Termina visited here. Those nights were after the frozen flame, of course, but instead they became salt for the Dead Sea. You see, only the Chosen can approach the flame. It looks like Fate has made its decision and is starting to carry it out now. Fate doesn't want the frozen flame to awaken in this place at this time. It would choose to destroy the flame along with the whole Dead Sea than to allow its enemies to take a hold of the flame. This lost future is about to disappear into the darkness beyond the dimensions again. You have no time to spare! You must leave here immediately! Quick! Go! It's a mini chrono. I love you so much. That is why I sometimes desire to smash you to bits. Don't worry about me. You must go now. Well, that's an interesting phrasing of that. Farewell, Arena. The future is yours for the taking. You, the one that fr the frozen flame has chosen. Not gonna lie, that's pretty sweet. I uh, love the references of, to Chrono Trigger at the very least. My dear Lena. May you live on in a happier tomorrow. I wonder if Lena was named after a queenly. I also wonder what happened with uh, Guardia. We are not gonna make it! Grab hold, son of man! What the fuck is this? This is what happened to Daenerys Targaryen's dragon. for Cheetah was fighting Majin Buu in that very location. Why did you help us? I too would like to witness this. How thou shalt live and thou, how thou shalt die. If thou art planning to bring forth a new entity, prepare thyself for anguish and sorrow. I did! That's so awesome, Katero! Did you go to the Macy Day's parade? Uh, Macy's uh, parade? Macy did. To the Sea of Eden. If thou intend to defy the goddess of fate, speak with the ancient dragon gods who sit in repose in Almedo. We already spoke to one, spoke to one of them. Let the path to the Sea of Eden be known when all the powers of the sleeping dragons are brought together. They have Pikachu as well, right? Marina, are you concerned about the other world? You are concerned about the other world, are you not? The dimensional distortion should be back in order. Let's head to the to a passive beach. How could you possibly know that? Oh man, I got a glimpse on TV. That's okay. Oh, we're at Marvel. Next month, what? I already set this recording.